How y'all doing? And thanks for watching. This is George over at Wicked Warnings here with a brand new 2021 Chevrolet Trailblazer. I don't know if you've seen these yet, but this is a first for us. It's for FHP Passion, local construction company. Needed some nice, adequate construction warning. So on the front of this grill, what happens to fit really nicely right there in the front under the hood line is a 3-inch M Power. You could probably fit a 4-inch too, but I don't think it's necessary on this small of a vehicle. We chose amber white, but any of the M powers will work right there. And we did the sticky mount M power. Now you can drill a hole right through the grill there, a small one, and run the wiring right on the back side of the grill. It's extremely open and easy, very, uh, very simple install. And if you were to ever remove the light, you could take a black Christmas tree type fill plug and fill the hole in with that little button cover, and you'd never even know that there was a light on the grill ever. So very minimal damage. One single three-ace hole is all it took for the wiring for the light. And we used that uh, Primer 94 adhesion promoter before we did the sticky mount. We gave it a good 60 to 90 se seconds of firm pressure while we applied it. And uh, I don't think we're going to have any problems with those lights at all. Now, we just chose a nice, simple, triple flash pattern. We synchronized both lights to come together at the same time, at the same color. It's just a nice, simple, all-around construction package. Here's a little close-up of how that light mounts right there. And here's what I like best. It does recess kind of right behind here. You can see like that. So if we go through car washes with the brushes and the banging on the front of the car, it shouldn't mess this light up at all. Snow buildup shouldn't really be an issue. Should be able to keep it nice and clean. The snow brush like this every winter shouldn't have a problem bashing the light. So I think it'll live a nice, long, healthy life right there on the front of the grill. We're on the back here. You can see in the outer turn signal lenses, those are the body mount lenses. We mounted a Haw Duo hideaway strobe. Now that's our HD version, but our LD version would work just as well. The HD just throws the light a little higher into the lens, a little deeper, but in this particular lens, you'd also be fine with an LD. Now, we explored the inner lens, the reverse on the hatch. It didn't have much room in there, and I have another video that I'll link to uh, to show you exactly how to drill those hideaways into those lenses and what you're going to get into. It's real easy. Again, the the lens pops right off the car. There's a nice rubber grommet right there, easily accessible from behind the trim on the inside. Hardest part is to run the power wire from the back panel all the way forward to your switch location. Uh, and then behind that switch location, you have a fuse box where you can grab your power and your ground is right there too. So this is a very easy, simple build to do on your own. Um, and you can get all of these parts by following the links in the video. And uh, you can take this project on and light up your own trailblazer now we do have these haw lights in all the colors so if amber isn't your thing you can pick a different color and as far as the front lights you can check our website for the m power selections in the three inch if you're not happy with the ones we used in this video if you have any other questions please drop an email to info info at wickedwarnings.com let us know what you're doing what you're working on and we'll be happy to help you thanks again for watching i hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you on the next one Twenty twenty one Trailblazer.